Hey guys, Channel Cat Chaser coming at you tonight. Hey, I wanted to make a real quick video, really just to show you my new grips that I put on the uh, American Classic 2. They're black and green G10. They look pretty slick, if you ask me. I asked Methan what he thought of them, and he says, Oh, I like them. And I said, Don't lie to me. And he says, Well, it looks like a stipple job gone wrong. <laughs> but yeah. I think they look good on there, that stainless and that green and the black kind of contrast with the black sights and stuff. So yeah, it looks pretty nice to me. But uh, here's the Colt Competition Series. I took that blue uh, light pipe out of there, put the red one in, it's a little bit better. That blue one sucked nuts. But uh, yeah, there's the Colt. And then here's my Springfield. Uh, it's it's an old one. This is my very first 1911. It's an old loaded series. Uh, slide to frame fits is sloppy, like your girlfriend in high school. But she uh, she uh, still shoots pretty good. It's not too bad. But I do like those grips. I really like those. I really like that gun. I have not shot it yet, but I'm going to. I'll get me some uh, ammo. I, I don't, my 45 caliber ammo is buried so freaking deep underneath 22 caliber stuff. It's not even funny. But anyway, I had a little quick question for you guys. Do you think that steel frame pistols hold their value better than a polymer frame pistol? What do you guys think? I mean, in the long run, do you think that you'd be better off buying a steel frame say a 1911 or a CZ or a CZ clone, you know, does the value hold better with a steel gun than it does a polymer gun? Uh, just leave your comment in the, in the comment section below. But I don't know, these here are VZ grips, operator, I think, something like that. And these here are $27 G10 grips off of eBay uh, these things are hard to beat compared to uh, say a VZ and I'm sure those low grips or lock grips like you know Big Johnson uh, probably pretty good too I, I don't know I mean the CNC machinery can do damn near anything anymore so everything is pretty good quality but yeah these Colt grips are not too bad they uh, they're not really aggressive but anyway so that's about it, guys. I just want to wrap this video up real quick to show you my new grips I put on that pistol. I think it looks pretty nice. I hope you like it. If you're not, then don't worry about it. It's not yours. But I'm not done collecting 1911s. I know a bunch of you guys are not fans of the 1911, but I would like to have a double stack 1911. I'd like to have a, a two-tone, you know, the dual-tone. 1911 with a stainless steel frame and a black slide and then I want one with a black frame and a stainless steel slide and I want a commander and I want you know a race gun uh, 1911 is freaking versatile I mean they're just awesome guns in my opinion are they as good as a CZ hell yeah you know it's a fucking American made pistol this is the this is the shit man Colt Right? Springfield, you know, two names synonymous with uh, the 1911s. So, yeah, I like to have a CZ2. I'd love to have a Shadow2. I got the jack for it. I do have the money. I could buy one, but man, it's just hard to let go of that kind of money at 1300 bucks locally. And uh, I don't have any problem dropping $600 on a Filipino made 1911, which is a beautiful pistol. That's a beautiful pistol. But anyway, enough rambling, guys. I want to throw this here ending in. It's especially, I, I made it especially for one of the Ammo Mafia members. Now, I was debating on whether to turn my likes and dislikes, my thumbs ups on and off, because I'm pretty sensitive. And, you know, I don't want anybody seeing how many dislikes I got on a video, because, you know, I get sad about that stuff. No, I don't. I really don't. But anyway, that's just another poke at another one of my good buddies. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Keep on subscribing, and we'll catch you guys next time. Channel Cat, out. Y'all be good, and if you can't be good, be good at it.